Today I'm at Emerald Park in Ashbourne, Ireland, where they've recently opened their brand new themed land, Tir Nanog, which is home to two new roller coasters, including the fantastic Nafiana Force. Join me as I explore this theme park for the first time and ride with me on the various attractions Emerald Park has to offer. Well, greetings from Emerald Park here in Ireland. My first time in Ireland, my first time, therefore, at Emerald Park. So it's going to be really interesting to have a wander around today and see what we've got going on here. So this is Coo Chilane, which I probably got completely wrong, but this is their big gravity group wooden coaster. Really excited to ride this later. But I'm gonna head for Tier Nanog first, which is their brand new themed land. We've got two new Vacoma coasters over there. So that's all very exciting. How cool is this theming here? Yeah, really impressed with this. This is very kind of Lord of the Ringsy. The timing of that symbol was perfect. I've got to say, my first impressions walking around here, uh, it's got that very regional park kind of vibe to it. It's kind of quite open plan, but with like clusters of rides from the looks of it. It's kind of reminding me of Oakwood in some respects, but with slightly better theming. Now, right up ahead here, we have Nanaf. Is it Nafiana Force? I don't really know how you pronounce that name yet, but uh, that looks really good. It's a Vacoma STC, only the second of them to be built. So really excited to see how this rides. So what we have here are two brand new Vicoma roller coasters. We've got the STC up there, Nafiana Force, which is about to go down its drop. And then that's joined by Quest, which is a Vacoma family boomerang. Quite a sprawling layout as well, which is nice to see. And they interact with each other. Look how close the tracks get to each other. There's gonna be some fantastic interactions. I'm quite looking forward to this. So I have to say, despite the five minute queue, they are really rattling out the trains. And look at this station building here. Yeah, this looks really nice around here. They've done a really good job. I'll tell you what, the views you get of these roller coasters from this queue line are just so impressive. It really does take you right into the middle of the layout over a little uh, pond here. And look, we are just surrounded by track. This is really well put together here. I'm surprised more parks haven't gone for this Vacoma kind of double package because it looks fantastic. You get a thrill coaster and a family coaster bundled in. So should we go ride Nafiana Force? I'll tell you what, I'll even take you on ride with me. Happens to the best of us. So as I rejoined the Nafiana Force queue line for a front row ride, let's have a chat about how that rode because I was, uh, I was pretty impressed with that overall. Uh, I will start with saying it's definitely a bit of a judder there. I, I was sat at the back, which gave some fantastic drag off the drop. Like that really did whip you in quite a number of places throughout the ride. Um, <coughs> but yeah, definitely a bit of a shuffle on the, towards the back of the train. Nothing too noticeable, nothing too damaging, but it is there. And so, gotta mention it, but 
there were some really nice elements. There was an inversion about halfway through, which might be one of the smoothest corkscrews I think I've ever taken, especially on an invert. Um, it has lap bars, which obviously do enhance the experience as well. Uh, unfortunately, Quest wasn't running at the same time, so I didn't get any lovely uh, interaction with that. But on the whole, I was really impressed with that. It's very whippy, it's very snappy, it feels quick in places. <laughs> Well, front row on Nafiana Force was also really, really good. Uh, really forceful at the front. Obviously, you didn't get the pull on the drop, but it was still a very forceful drop. Um, some nice moments of airtime. Do still feel a bit of rattle in different places, but I mean, you can abide that when you've got a really, really good roller coaster, and I think that's really good. So, hope to see more of those pop up because they've got to be pretty good value for parks, and especially when you combine it with another roller coaster from Vekoma as well. I'm surprised more kind of small to mid level parks don't do it. So heading into the quest next, which is the family boomerang. That was good timing, wasn't it? Well, hopefully we'll see it come over. So it is clear they're still doing quite a lot of work on a TNR Nog area and from the top of the lift hill for Quest there, right just behind the toilets here, there's all kinds of development going on. So hopefully that's a sign that Emerald Park will continue to grow this area and that there's more exciting developments to come. Well Quest was good, I think you always know what you're getting with the Vekoma family boomerang. I mean they're so common now that they become the coaster equivalent of the Zamperla Disco. But that was really good. Um, much like I predicted, it does ride very similar to Echo the Light Explorers at Energylandia, but that is one of the best boomerangs there is, so can't really grumble with that. Um, obviously the interaction, seeing uh, Nafiana Force fly over the station while I was waiting, that was also really cool. So yeah, I love what they've done here. They put it together really nicely. You can get some great views of the roller coasters off-ride as well, which is something I always appreciate as a content creator. So I'm going to go get some food, get some footage, and then we're going to go ride a big old woody. So despite there being quite a few school groups in today, queue times are really good around the park. Looking at five minutes, 10 minutes, maybe 15 tops. So we do a chicken shack up here, so I'm gonna go and give this a look. So as it's literally right where I've eaten, I'm gonna go and do flight school, because this is a zero force. Gets another coaster ticked off. I like how they've got this arrivals and departures section here. This is all really cool.
Well, Flight Force was pretty decent. It's a standard Zero Force. Nothing too exciting or groundbreaking there, but I did like the way they've got all these plants and trees. They've grown to quite high length, and so the coaster kind of weaves through it in certain places, which uh, I thought was quite a nice touch. Not sure what that has to do with being on a flight school, but that was quite enjoyable. Now we do have another coaster up here, Dino Dash, so while I'm here, I think I might as well get this one as well. Then I'm going to head back and do Kukulin, if that's how you pronounce it, at the Big Woody. Well that is a very tatty looking Brontosaurus. His nose has fallen off. And he's sort of guarding a generator. There's quite a cool beaten up truck there with a couple of raptors loitering on top. Just don't spray water, that's not part of their law. Yo, Johnny T Rex over there, looking a bit battered. sitting in front of a dinosaur awakening just reflecting on Dino Dash which is a perfectly fine Vekoma family coaster to that special a few nice forces in there I always like the Vekoma trains and restraints they're a lot more comfortable than like the Zeras and the Pinfaris I find very pointless kind of water element on the start of the second lap I've never known raptors to spit water I think they got the wrong dinosaur there but we'll let that pass also the dilapidated they're taking the piss so as I was saying before, I was rudely sprayed with water and the dilapidated dinosaurs as part of the theming, yeah, I think they really need some touching up. I mean, the, the Brontosaurus or Brachiosaurus, the big one that eats herbs, his face is falling off. He literally looks like a zombie, like a, a dinosaur that's died and brought back to life. So, yeah, hopefully they can fix those things. There's a few other random things I've noticed around the park. It all seemed very good early on, but I have noticed there are quite a few areas, like around here, is all closed off. Uh, there's quite a few food places in this section of the park that aren't open either. So yeah, going to continue my day. We've got a big wooden coaster to ride. I think that could be a good one for next. Well, here we go into the line for Kuchelaine. There is no wait time listed, but there is an outside queue. So I think it can be a little bit of a wait. They definitely look like timber liners. Ugh. Lane didn't quite hit the mark for me unfortunately. Timberliners are gonna timberline and they did bounce all over that track. For a coaster that's got quite an interesting layout, it's big, it's got some big elements, not a lot of forces there. I mean you could feel the speed at times but I think the pacing over the airtime hills, especially towards the front of the train, yeah you kind of any airtime got kind of killed off pretty quickly to be honest. So yeah 
I think a very mid-level wooden coaster. It was okay. I wouldn't say it was terrible. I wouldn't say it was super rough or anything. It just uh, it just didn't really do a lot. There's another thing here. It's not really a great deal of music as you walk around a park. And then you'll come into an area like this where you just get a big burst of sound. And come out the other side. And there's no more musical atmosphere. So random. Anyway, Viking Voyage looks like quite a fun water ride. So I'm gonna go and give that a go while we've got relatively okay temperatures. random. fly home later. <laughs> that was... The second drop was much worse. Why do I do it to myself? I got quite wet on that. Uh, my legs are absolutely drenched and I've got to fly back to England in a few hours, so it kind of backfired, but I think it was a really good log flume. Some really good elements, good mix, it was good length, some interesting theming in there, a couple of really good drops. Yeah, that's a really, really good log flume ride. Well worth a visit, well worth a ride. Just um, maybe not when you've got a flight in a few hours time. I'm gonna have to find a way to dry off. I don't think I fancy an air race. Where's Rotator gone? Well, it doesn't look like Rotator is on the agenda for now because that is being fixed. on the front row makes such a difference because A, you get the full force of the pace of the vehicle, but also as you go up the spike, you go up through the castle and you do really notice it at the front. So yeah, I think one of the better became a family boomerangs for sure. And Celtic Dreamer fills out the lineup here in Tiernanog, a classic wave swinger. You can't really go wrong with these, always a crowd favorite.
I've just had another three rides on Nafiena Force. That is a really, really good roller coaster. Just about every seat on the train, it feels forceful. You feel drag, whip, tons of force. It does have a bit of a judder in some places and a noticeable rattle in others, but it's so much fun that it sort of gets away with it. Now, I'd imagine those things may deteriorate in time, but the way it's riding now, it's, uh, like I say, it's such a fun coaster. It's so whippy, it feels faster than it should be. You really get dragged over that drop. This is a really good roller coaster, and I think there are so many small to mid-sized parks that could benefit from something like this. I'm looking at Portland's Park, I'm looking at Drayton Manor. Yeah, I really like this, and I think of all the roller coasters that opened in the UK and Ireland so far this year, well, I think we've had all of them now, bar the new lift and launch at Drayton Manor, which we don't have a, an opening date for yet, but I'd put this at number two. Now there are parts of Emerald Park that could be accused of lacking atmosphere due to a lack of music and a lack of audio. Tiernanog is not one of them. We've got a really nice Celtic soundtrack that you hear throughout the area. It's not so loud, it's overbearing, but it's very noticeable. It does add quite a lot of atmosphere. And unfortunately my attempts to ride one of these thrill flats continues to be scuppered. Yep, yeah, this one also down. So overall I've had a really good afternoon here at Emerald Park. I think it's, it's a mixed bag of a park. It's certainly not perfect. There are some things they do really well. I think the new TNN Og area, it demonstrates what they're capable of and they're still developing that further. So that's not a finished article yet, but the roller coasters they've added, uh, I really enjoy. When they do music, it's really good. It's, it's themed well, it fits the, the areas, it works with the environment. They just don't use enough of it. Um, around TNN Og, around the, uh, the Viking log flume ride, like it adds so much more it, it makes them feel like much more complete attractions unfortunately there's lots of the park that, that doesn't feel like that it does feel a bit left out quiet lacking in atmosphere not always the tidiest or cleanest i think it's definitely worth a visit here would i rush back probably not unless they built some incredible new ride i would probably leave it a few years before i came back but it is worth bearing in mind that this is 43 euros to get in here i got a flight from luton today which i'm returning back later this evening so i've done it all in one day the flight cost me about 35 quid return car hire was about 28 quid so you can do it all in for about 100 quid so it's worth a look i think um i think nafiana force it's worth coming over here for that's a really really good roller coaster really impressed with what vacoma did there and on the whole i think this is a solid park before I head off, should we go check the main merch store on the way out? They do have this awesome model of TNN Og here as well, which is really cool. So this is the main gift shop here at Emerald Park. A couple of nice bits of merch here. I quite like that t-shirt actually. They do have quite a lot of animal stuff as well because they do have a zoo here, which unfortunately I didn't get much time to explore today, but it's never a bad thing to own a little monkey. And always good to see a massive magnet collection. So that was Emerald Park. Let me know what you think of this place, whether it's something that interests you. TNN Og is a really good investment, so hopefully that's something that will bring new people over here. And overall, I've had a good afternoon. Would I recommend it? Yeah, just about, but don't come expecting a worldie. All right, thanks for watching. Take care. Watch this next video, which is all about another theme park. Imagine that. All right, bye.